Hello everyone, Andrew here, and welcome to today's Game & Watch review, which is Bomb Sweeper, the 52nd Game & Watch ever released, with a date of June 1987. It is also a multi-screen Game & Watch, but before we get into the Game & Watch itself, we actually have a little bit of an unboxing to do. This is my only multi-screen Game & Watch that I own in the box, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to uh, unbox it for you all. Uh, because the multi-screen Game & Watches are a little bit bigger than the widescreen ones, uh, which we have unboxed previously, during our month of reviews. Uh, this box is a little bit bigger, but all around pretty basic, but also very nice looking as well. And here you go, a big chunk of styrofoam where we can push the Game & Watch out from the bottom. We'll of course look at that in a second, but we have some other cool things to look at in here first. Uh, this being stickers that you can put on the battery cover of your Game & Watch so that it does not accidentally come off. Uh, I actually have a Super Mario Brothers Game & Watch, where there is some remnants of a time uh, when someone did that. I have personally never had a problem with the battery cover accidentally coming off, so it seems a little bit excessive to me, but it's interesting that every Game & Watch was packaged with those batteries, uh, so that you could do that if you wish. Uh, but yeah, this is the Super Mario Brothers Game & Watch. It's going to be really confusing when the 35th anniversary one comes out. It's like, which Super Mario Brothers Game & Watch are you talking about? I have already reviewed that, though, and had an absolutely excellent time doing so, so if you haven't seen that review, uh, I definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, otherwise, in here, though, we have some cautions and warnings. Uh, don't feed batteries to your ch to your children. Pretty basic stuff, I would think, but you know, in the year 2020, you know, there's probably some people out there who need to be reminded of that. Uh, and then, of course, the instruction manual, which goes over the basics of the game, which I'm going to be doing anyway, so no need to flip through uh, that thing it's in, uh, in its entirety. But let's move that off to the side and bring the Game & Watch back. So yes, it's a multi-screen one, uh, pretty much exactly the same as all multi-screen Game & Watches we looked at to this point that open up vertically, just uh, you know, different color and image on the front. But let's open this up here. And Bomb Sweeper is just such, such a cool game. I absolutely love it. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. And you're gonna notice some things, uh, some interesting things compared to other Game & Watches that we've looked at. The first one being that despite the fact that we have not yet set the time, uh, it doesn't show all the various cells lit up, which is interesting. That's usually a thing that happens when you first put the batteries in. Uh, another very, very interesting thing is that there is no button on the right here. This is just kind of a bump in the plastic. It doesn't do anything at all. All controls of this game are just up, down, left, and right. Nothing beyond that. Uh, and the story is that you have Dynamite Jack, who has jumped into the sewer and is planting bombs all over the place. So you have to play as the police officer, John Solver, who jumps down into the sewer and defuses his bomb. So let's set the time. And you have to do it with the uh, up and down being the hours and left and right being the minutes. Uh, because, or actually no, so left and up are the hours, and right and down are the minutes. That's odd. Um, because yeah, there's no buttons on the right for you to do uh, things otherwise. And then yeah, the, it's actually really cool because this is a puzzle game. Unlike so many Game & Watches that are more platformers or, you know, juggling objects or such. Uh, it's also kind of funny because despite being a multi-screen Game & Watch, uh, most of the action takes place on the bottom with the top kind of just being for animations and cutscenes. So let's have a look at that if we press Game A. Yeah, so as you can see, not much really happens on the top screen. And then you are brought into a maze where you have to get to that bomb on the end uh, before time on the top screen runs out. So you diffuse that, and then your time goes up a bit. Let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit so you see more of the game and less of the uh, outside plastic. Uh, and then a big gimmick of this game is that you can push walls. Uh, so as long as there is not something obstructing you from pushing that wall, uh, you can push them and then need to do that to solve puzzles to get to the end. So you can do a thing like this, and then without having to go through that entire maze, you've just kind of created a shortcut for yourself to the end, and you'll of course get you know, more of a time bonus and such because of that. And yeah, I just think it's all around so fun, you know, trying to solve these puzzles and stuff. As someone who's always been like a huge fan of the Professor Layton games, who loves puzzles, uh, I think that this Game Watch is just so fantastic. Sometimes there are also two bombs, but you only have to solve, uh, rather, uh, defuse one of them. So you have to solve how to get to one of them. One of them might be like a red herring that you can't actually reach. Or sometimes you can get to more than one bomb and, you know, it's kind of a choice on which one you want to get to. Alright, did I, did I mess that up? No, so see. 
Uh, when there is more than one bomb in the wall, you can actually push a wall into where that bomb is. So you can kind of, you know, strategically use that as a way to get to where you need to be. And you can, of course, also push walls more than once as long as there's nothing obstructing your path. But yeah, I just love it. It's, you know, so many Game & Watches are platforming or, or juggling or something like that, but to actually have like a real puzzle-based Game & Watch uh, is just so cool. I don't think that many people have probably ever heard of this one before. I don't think it was ever featured on a Game & Watch Gallery game. Maybe Game & Watch Gallery 4. There were some games on that one that you could unlock if you got like a ton of stars. Uh, but they didn't have modern modes or anything like that. Otherwise, though, yeah, it's a pretty obscure game to watch, but definitely one I recommend checking out at some point if you ever get the chance to. Uh, especially if you're like me and you love solving puzzles. Just really cool. And as you can see, you know, our score is at the top screen. So after a while, after solving, I think it's 10 rooms, you get brought to this auto-scrolling one. Uh, and it's funny because we also saw kind of an auto-scrolling thing in the Mario, Super Mario Brothers game and watch that we checked out and, you know, a while back as well. Uh, but now you have to, you know, solve puzzles while, you know, not getting mushed. So it can be kind of nerve-wracking. We want to do a thing like that. Um, um, shoot, no, what am I doing? What am I doing? Wow, okay, that, that, that was so cool. That was awesome. Uh-oh, I, I trapped myself. No, that, that's probably the end, too. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, the auto scrolling just makes it so, uh, so nerve-wracking. I messed up right at the end. Oh, how unfortunate. And then you kind of get, like, an animation at the top. And inside the glass there is kind of, you know, uh, indicates your lives. So another police officer comes out, and we gotta beat this again. And that just brought us right to the end, because I guess that was where I died. And there you go. I love how the top is just, like, all for animations. I mean, it could have, I guess, then been, you know, maybe a widescreen game and watch. Maybe not. Uh, the screen's pretty big. Uh, I just think that's so cool, though. Back in the day before, we all had YouTube and stuff on our phones. You know, this was kind of the videos that you had to enjoy while you were out doing stuff. I think it's really creative, though. I absolutely love it. Uh, game B does not have the auto-scrolling portions. It is just all um, puzzle-solving levels. So that's kind of a difference there. Uh, did a thing like that. Did a thing, yeah, we've seen this one already. Oh, there's, of course, going to be some repeats. I don't think it's, like, completely random. Uh, that would probably cause problems because there'd be some that, like, couldn't be solved. Uh, but, yeah. So, like, you can do a thing like that. And come up around here. And there you go. In game B, I think that the levels are also more randomized. Where I think in game A, uh, they always happen in, like, a set order. There you go. There we go. One thing you also really have to be careful of is that you don't accidentally push a wall uh, that you don't mean to, because so many times, if you just press that, uh, you know, the directional pad one extra time, you could end up uh, sending... Is that something I should have just done? Hmm, no, I think I messed up. Shoot, I did too, right? Like, I can push this down into here, but then I can't get over to that one. Whoops! Yeah, it's, it's easy to, uh, to make a mistake like that. Like, I can push that down there, but then they're both closed off, so now we just kind of got to, you know, suffer for, like, two more seconds until time runs out. Now you can kind of see that uh, animation on the top screen, though. But yeah, see, you don't accidentally want to push a wall into a position, which then makes the level impossible. So there's a lot to think about there. I love it, though. Um... Why can't I see this one? This one, it doesn't feel like it should be that hard. I'm just totally not seeing it. Oh my gosh, yes! That was really tricky. I love that. That was cool. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get nervous now. Uh, anything like that. Uh, 
Um. Nope. 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 There you go. So that's it, though. I think everyone understands the point of the game. It's great. And, of course, you know, you'll eventually probably learn the rooms and get really good at it. You'll be able to go for a long time. Uh, but, yeah. Bomb Sweeper. Never hear anyone talking about this Game & Watch. Again, I don't even think it was really featured on any of the Game & Watch gallery games. But if you ever have the chance to play it, and you're like me, and you love puzzles, I cannot recommend it enough. So, thank you so much for watching this. Hope you enjoyed learning about this rather obscure Game & Watch, and hope you'll join me tomorrow for another Game & Watch review. So thanks, and hope to see you then!